It's time now for the Business of Health, brought to you by Hendrix Regional Health. Well, robots are being used at Franciscan Health to help stroke patients walk again. Barbara Lewis has more in the business of health. Barb? Gary, thank you very much. Well, the full body device was created for spinal cord injuries, but it has potential to help patients with a variety of mobility issues. Joining me is Annette Seabrook. She's Administrative Director of Neurosciences at Franciscan Health, and it's great to have you on the program. Thank you. You, you brought some wonderful mm -hmm. video to show us what this device is, but can you explain how it works and, and why it's so great for stroke patients? Yeah, so it's a wearable robotic suit for patients with weakness and paralysis to use in their physical therapy sessions to work on their walking. And it's a device that they'll actually wear. Um, we put it on them in a seated position. It's adjusted to fit them, and then it will help them to stand up, and then it will help them as a, a therapist helps them to shift the weight. It will sense that and then advance their leg and as they shift their weight to the other side it will advance that leg for them. So why is that good for stroke patients? Right. I think of them as having a weakness on one side or the yeah, other. Yeah, The unique thing about the exo, uh, exoskeleton, the ExoGT, is that it's the first one to have FDA approval for stroke rehab um, and incomplete spinal cord injuries and it's because of the, the function called variable assist in which each leg is powered separately and it can provide from zero to 100 percent and assistance on each leg individually. So we can customize that treatment based on that patient's strengths or needs. And the software will actually collect real-time data while they're walking and then recalculate the amount of assistance that the patient needs so that when they're walking, we can continue to challenge them as their walking gets better as they progress. And that's obviously real important, the fact that they're powered separately because as you mentioned, in a stroke patient, there's significant strength differences from one leg to another. And that's what makes this exoskeleton unique. So is this a part of the therapy? Because I'm sure right. there's more conventional therapy right. being, being right. used. Right. So how soon does a stroke patients get a, a chance to use it and, and how does it fit into the rest yeah. of what they do? We start our patients with the exoskeleton in their acute inpatient rehab stay and then can continue to work with them in their outpatient rehabilitation. What we know is right after someone has a stroke, unfortunately they spend a lot of time in bed. And, but the research shows that the more that we can get a person up and on the field, Feet, the faster they progress and the better their overall outcome. So we really want to use this from the very beginning. And if you think of someone that's just had a severe stroke, it can be very challenging to stand them up. The therapist is having to work very hard to hold them. It's hard on the therapist. The patient's afraid of falling. They can't move their leg forward. With the exoskeleton, we can get them up and walking that very first time that they're in it. It helps promote the correct posture in a stroke patient. Uh, midline orientation so they don't lean from one side to the other, proprioception and balance awareness. And then the other important thing is by being able to facilitate that one foot in front of another more normal gait pattern, we can hopefully mitigate compensatory behaviors. If you've known anybody that's had a stroke or, or seen someone, sometimes they limp, they lean to one side, maybe their leg rotates in or out, they can't move that leg forward. By using an exoskeleton from the very beginning, we can get them walking in a normal pattern before those behaviors develop. Okay, so is this device unique to Indiana, what, what you're doing? There's exoskeletons that exist for spinal cord injuries, but Franciscan Health is the first system in Indiana to have this particular device that can be used for stroke rehab. So we are the only uh, organization in the state using it for stroke rehab. Our sister facility in Lafayette is using it as well, in addition to our facility here in Indianapolis. Okay, so you just started in January? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. We'll have to have you back and see how it's going. It sounds like a wonderful device. It's been great. The patients are very excited and engaged in it, and we're, we're really happy to be able to offer the leading technology to help them maximize their recovery. All right, Annette, thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Gary, back to you. Well, thanks for watching Inside Indiana Business on YouTube. For the latest statewide business news, be sure to visit InsideIndianaBusiness.com and subscribe to our free daily e-newsletters by clicking on the link.